Greetings from the uh, historical Pinehurst uh, Golf Course in uh, beautiful Pinehurst, North Carolina. I'm Magnus Walker and I'm here at the uh, Saturday morning Cars and Coffee at the second annual Pinehurst Concourse. Just a great setting with great people and great cars and I think what's going on here at Pinehurst is first of all the setting's spectacular, we're on this historic golf course now and it's what I call Southern Charm and Hospitality. The great thing about being down here in North Carolina is the people. So the people combined with a great setting, a great environment and spectacular cars is really, really hard to beat. For one, it's easy to get around, it's lush, people are super friendly. And I, I think what Jay and Bob are building here is gonna be you know, one of the top three shows in the country. I had owned that car for about four or five years and uh, last year it sort of left LA and uh, found its new home in uh, Durham, North Carolina. And uh, I was reunited with it last October when I was down here for the North Carolina Museum of Art Porsche by Design Seducing Speed exhibit. Actually uh, had that car on the track at VIR which was a great experience to have uh, my race car number 277 on track with the 72 STR. So that was a really memorable moment. And, uh, Yesterday I actually got to drive the car for the first time probably in six months. I drove it from Pinehurst, from the Carolina Hotel, down to Fort Bragg. Spent an afternoon at Fort Bragg and then drove it back. So it was just really a, a memorable moment getting behind the wheel of a car that I'd built and owned and uh, just nice driving in, in a different region of the country. You know, the troops were really, really, uh, really great. Very, very generous. You know, they had the chorus singing some great tunes. You had a great display of uh, you know, military gear and then the uh, parachuted into the arena, which was pretty spectacular to see that. And the troops were just super friendly. Quite a lot of them had actually seen Urban Outlaw. A few of them had seen the car. They'd seen Jay Leno drive it and various other people drive the car. So it was a great day. I actually posted a photo of me with two troops on my Instagram, Facebook feed at Fort Bragg. And it's amazing just how people responded to that car being at Fort Bragg and obviously supporting the troops that keep us all safe and secure. You know, it was an honor to be there and it was a, a great time for me to be there with one of my former cars. Welcome home. I've not really looked around. I arrived in that car about half an hour ago and I've stepped out of it and just uh, spent the past half hour talking to a lot of people and uh, taking a few photos with a lot of people. So to be honest, I haven't really looked around the show to pick out a car yet, but I don't think it's going to take me long to find one or two that I connect with. So right. one of the many great things about coming to these events is uh, seeing guys that actually have a sticker of mine on their car. So thank appreciate you. the support. And it actually looks pretty good there. Indeed, thank so you. So thank you very much. Appreciate you being here. Oh, it's good to be here, good to be here. Pinehurst and Porsches. Uh, newest Porsche I own is actually, I just recently acquired it. It's a uh, 1980, 924 Turbo. So I've yet to own anything past 1980. I seem to be branching out beyond my uh, early years. A lot of people ask me, why'd you buy a 924? That's not air cooled. I like to experience everything Porsche has to offer. So my goal is I'm searching for, a, got the 924, I want to get a 944, and I also get, want to get a 928. That way I'm experiencing uh, front-engined, water-cooled Porsches, which is something I've driven before, but I've never owned. So now I'm about variety. I've covered the early years. I've sort of ticked that collection off my list. I have one more car to get for my uh, Turbo Fever collection. That's a 75 Turbo. And I'd really like to get behind the wheel of uh, you know, something more modern. This is a car that's currently on my wish list, a 996 GT3. So I think this represents a uh, boatload of performance right here. A lot of bang for the buck, I like to say. Porsches always look great in silver, but look really great in yellow too. Stepping back uh, perhaps to a car more of my uh, era of sort of preference. I actually own an Irish green 66 911. This appears to be uh, Irish green, which is, uh, I think, a great color. You know, it's a little bit like British racing green, but I guess uh, Porsche couldn't really call it that, so Irish green is what it is. And uh, I've never owned a 914, but I do have one of these cars on my list as well. Right here, great looking car. I saw this car on the rally yesterday you know, I drove down to Fort Bragg and I did see this car and uh, it just looks pretty spectacular. I love the rally stripes, 
Those stripes are early Porsche colors. I wanted yeah, to Yeah, it's a great color combo. I didn't notice it had the 69 door handles and it was a first year long wheel base car. I love the uh, wheels you've got on it. Just really a spectacular looking car. Very tastefully done with the interior as well, matching. Yeah, the hard part was knowing when to stop. Yeah. One like, more well, sticker. Yeah, yeah, be, uh, yeah. Well, you probably need one more. The Urban Outlaw sticker somewhere right. on it. Right. And I, I can take care of that. Okay. Uh-oh, we got a GT3 RS back to a new car, but uh, that's quite striking right there. And I know these cars are, uh, they pack a, a big punch. So as you're sensing, I'm sort of drawn to these uh, more racy uh, models that Porsche has in the range. But I also, as I said earlier on my wish list, was a 928, and it does look like we got one right there. 920, I think, is just another iconic Porsche. You know, and uh, as I was saying earlier, part of uh, where I'm at right now is the variety of Porsche ownership. I have the 924. The next car I'm going for is the uh, 944 Turbo S, 1980. And then also on the list is a 928 five-speed along with a 914 or 914.6 and a 996 GT3 or GT2. And uh, that sort of is covering my bases of uh, Porsches that are on the wish list. And uh, I seem to have found quite a few of them here at the uh, Cars and Coffee event on the Saturday of uh, the Pinehurst Concours weekend in beautiful Pinehurst, North Carolina. So get yourself down here.